Hi guys, this is just really a quick review of the Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7 Episode 7. Yeah. Well, there's not really much to say because, you know, they basically get imprisoned at the end of the previous episode, but by the end of this episode, they're basically still in the same place. I was just like, really? That's how we're going to end it? They break out and then they basically go back in, so basically this whole episode was kind of pointless because there are these mysterious characters at the end. I mean, do get to hear some backstory for these two sisters. And why they don't like Jedi's. Oh, and basically people from the surf up on the surface. But yeah. Ninety percent eighty of this you know, this episode. Eighty percent of this episode was kinda of pointless. Even though the little sister does get to escape and help him get free. Cause like Waffle was getting tortured. You know, because they basically got rid of the spies, so it's not like they can turn them where it is. <laughs> it's something out there in space, just floating around. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they get to escape. And while they're escaping, you know, Hazoku needs to open the doors. You get to see her kick ass, and the other ones working together. The little sister isn't actually a bad shot. And she she's able to free some of the prisoners. And they basically help her. <laughs> you can see one of them slam one of the... I, I, would, I don't even know what you call these things, but... Yeah, one of those guys to the ground. <laughs> or does he throw him? <laughs> but yeah, they basically break out. And they're trying to get to the ship. And then there's like this drunk guy. But I'll, I'll tell the, you know, the backstory afterwards, but yeah, there's basically like this drunk guy. Who needs credits, but you know, they, they haven't really got credits at the moment because... They just brought out some way. So then that person goes to the ones who are after him. And then, you know, he snitches, of course, because he needs credits. And then that's when, you know, the two sisters get captured again. And Hazoka tries to help him by getting this machine to free him. But then, you know, they just get completely surrounded. Then just end back at the square one. And there's these mysterious characters who's been watching them. But they want a completely different mission. I don't know if they're after the same people, maybe trying to bust them. You know, who Azoka and the two sisters made a deal with. Like, maybe they're after them, so they could basically free them. That's probably what's going to happen. Because I can't see what else is going to happen. I just can't believe it's just went back to the very same situation. But yeah, I'm just going to tell about the backstory. So basically, the two sisters, you know, you know, the ones had their family. But then there was a situation where, it, I don't know if it was the same type of enemies who are fighting now. Well, I'm going to make a deal with the people who killed their family, but it was a situation where they were trying to stop something because it was going to destroy their home. But then, you know, the Jedi get involved and it basically doesn't work out. But the family get the sisters to safety, but then, you know, the Jedi tried to stop it, but, you know, it just got destroyed their home. And one of the Jedis came up to him and said, Something about, this, I can't remember the exact words, but the way how they use the Force will be with you is like probably the worst I've ever seen. Because they just lost their family and then it's just the way how she says it. It's like, what are you supposed to take from that? You just lost their, you just lost, made them lose their family. So that's just messed up. Yeah, I just can't remember the exact way how she said it. It's like, it's like, it's like they kind of said like, just look for the upside <laughs> and then the Force will be with you. Like, what's the upside? They just lost their family. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but, yeah. That's really all that happened. I actually was going to skip reviewing it today, but I just wanted to get out of the way. Since this storyline's not... I'm not really a big fan of it. I was fine when it was introducing Azurka back, but I just want her to come back with the Jedi now. I just don't know how long this season is. It definitely has to be more than 13 episodes if we're getting these episodes. Because right now... I'd say the filler, filler-ish, I'll still put them in the filler section, but yeah, that's my review of, you know, this episode, I'll see you next time guys, peace.